The cause of traffic congestion is not always inadequate road capacity, but inefficient use of existing road capacity. Our model of Elbe Tunnel shows how Ames and Next simulations can analyze traffic and test the efficiency of different control strategies for reducing congestion. The A7 motorway is one of the most important north-south traffic connections in Germany. For southbound traffic from the Elbe Tunnel, the high number of trucks complicates the merging process from the on-ramp. This results in severe traffic congestion during rush hour. We simulated the everyday traffic situation in a calibrated traffic model. The colors indicate the driving speed in each road section. We then implemented different control strategies to reduce congestion. The most efficient strategies in this case were gap metering and dynamic merging control. The gap metering strategy assigns a gap to every vehicle on the main line according to its driving speed, either via car to X communication or by using signs on the overhead gantry. The vehicles waiting on the entry ramp use these gaps to merge on the main line. Gap metering is activated when density and occupancy reach the threshold at a detector on the main line. Gap metering reduced the total travel time in the study area by up to 20%. The strategy of dynamic merging control assigns vehicles, cars only in this study, to the far left lanes in the merging area. This relieves traffic in the right-hand lane and makes it easier for vehicles to merge from the ramp. Again, dynamic merging control is activated when density and occupancy hit the threshold. Dynamic merging control reduces the total travel time in the study area by more than 25%. The Ames and Next digital traffic model showed that both strategies could successfully reduce congestion in the study area.